Hey everyone, thank you for being on the Pink Cloud Nine video podcast, YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else in between. Today I have an amazing, wonderful, the most beautiful Tiffany, a coach that you're going to want to hear about everything that she has to talk about, say, do, and help with. So, Tiffany, yes. please tell the viewers and the listeners, what do you do in business and how do you help people? My name is Tiffany Grice, and I'm an alignment and authenticity coach, and I help women by empowering them to reclaim who they are after toxic and narcissistic abuse, really understanding who they are, that it's possible, and how to step into their power and, and step out into the world as their authentic self. That's pretty amazing. Um, do you do that um, from personal experience or from just being able to help other people to like, uh, get through those times? It sounds pretty, pretty heavy, dark, you know, difficult. and then there's you at the end of the, you know, tunnel with the light. Right. Yeah. I, I like to say that if someone has a story, I have another story that is relatable. Um, so through those experiences, I truly see them as gifts and blessings on the other side, of course, uh, understanding that I've gone through so much that I can really be relatable to individuals and share that connection with them. There's some things that you can't learn out of a book or, you know, by getting a degree and things like that. It's really that, that life experience. Um, I have experienced narcissistic abuse and behavior since I was young. Um, you know, between growing up in that type of environment, as well as finding myself in romantic relationships, business partnerships, uh, of, you know, with individuals that all have similar traits. And yeah, I mean, just having gone through all of that and being able to recognize and realize that I'm not a victim. Like I said, these things happen for me. And it all comes down to how how you're chosen by these individuals. And it's really because you have an incredibly radiant and bright light. And to really remember that, that you were threatening and intimidating to somebody and they wanted to take you down and bring you down to their level. And it happens over time. They're good at what they do, right? You wake up one day and you're like, holy crap, how is this my life? You know, it, it, they're very meticulous about it. Um, but yeah, really being able to understand that, uh, you know, you were chosen because you're so wonderful and beautiful and being able to remember that and then taking all of that energy and effort that you put into trying to fix someone who is unfixable and turning that inward and making your light shine even brighter than it was before, you know, you were chosen. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, I grew up in a very uh, hostile, negative environment and then for survival purposes, I myself became a narcissist, egotistical, uh, self-absorbed uh, humanoid. And it was for survival. It wasn't like, I want to be a narcissist or I, you know, whatever, right? So I'm, I'm coming from like the other side of the, and, um, and I've had a lot of, a few people here actually that have, spoken about narcissism and things like that and, you know um and i do see the patterns out in the world today where it's like you'll have a really nice person and then you have a really like okay so there's a difference between aggressive and assertive right so yeah. assertive is like i'm gonna tell you this is what it's gonna be this is the way it is that there is no black there is no white <laughs> there is no gray, whatever. And then aggressive is like a little bit more like intimidating, like, right. And like more, um, maybe physical, but also just like, you can really tell there's like a push, right. Like a negative push. So, um, I've seen it out in the world. Like there's like all these like really nice people. And then there's like these like really like assertive people. And in marriages and relationships, I've seen like, it's like one or the other. It's you, you, you rarely ever see like two assertive people together or two, like, well, you might see two, like 
were like passive people together. Um, but even in those two passive, one of them is going to be a little bit more decision making, right? Um, but yeah, you know, um, again, I realized that I became a narcissist, uh, just out of survival because like everybody around me was like and so i always talk about the wolf and the lamb i always talk about this and um, i'm always like do you want to be a wolf or do you want to be a lamb do you want to be eaten or do you want to eat right um that's just what i teach the people around me because everybody around me seems to be so passive and it's just like wake up like get it together like pounce <laughs> you know pounce you gotta pounce back you gotta, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's weird, even if it, anyway. So what I wanted, I just wanted to say that real quick, that like, I just, uh, throughout like the business and just being on social media alone to, has, has made me more bold, courageous. Um, and here, anyway, so I have this, see, that's a picture of me and yeah. half of it is a wolf because like, obviously I don't want to be a lamb. So I totally love what you're doing because you're helping other women come out of their shell and be like, I'm not putting up with that no more. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think you bring up a good point. I mean, one, the term narcissist is thrown around a lot. Um, you know, people think that it's just being egotistical and self-absorbed and that's an aspect of it, that grandiosity, um, that comes with it. But to your point, uh, survival mechanism, there is a difference between like, to me, you sound like you're just more assertive. You're able to communicate your boundaries, you know, who you are, what you want, what you will and won't put up with. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not empathetic to other people's needs, their backgrounds and things like that. And having that piece. Um, within you and being able to recognize and see and hear other people means that you are definitely not a narcissist. You just are a strong, confident human being that walks this earth. Um, so yeah, definitely don't, don't label yourself necessarily like that because I already know that you can, you can see yourself and I'm not trying to coach you right now, but uh, the word is thrown around very, very loosely. Um, but there is, there is a difference between being assertive and being aggressive and the way that the manipulation is that aggression comes out as gaslighting and, you know, positioning, positioning their own ways and desires and making you feel like it's your own and individuals that are susceptible to being in a narcissistic relationship tend to be empathic and can see through people and just want to keep the peace and please people and are conditioned over time to put themselves on the back burner. So it's really easy to be manipulated. Um, but when assertion uh, comes through, that I think is the biggest thing that I see in my clients is differentiating the two, being able to say, it's okay for me to have boundaries. It's okay for me to express those boundaries. I am not that person that I was with that did those same things because you as a human being give a shit about other people. So being able to communicate and express who you are, what you will and won't tolerate is healthy. You don't have to be a jerk when you do it, but you do have to do it because that, that's how you're going to get through and you're not going to be that lamb. You're not going to be that doormat, but understanding there is a difference. And by voicing yourself, you are not that person that you know is abusive to other people. You're just confident and human. <laughs> yeah no you're right there is a, a fine line um you know um it's pretty 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 insane i have to walk it every day with um with family with friends with like everybody like all the time i'm like wait was i being too or we be there too you know what i mean like i don't get it it's just crazy but anywho um, tell us how to connect with you. If there's anybody that needs a, a, a conversation connection with someone that can point them in the, um, you know, direction of like more, you know, certainty of like, am yeah. I being too nice? Am I being too mean? Should I be nicer? Should I be more assertive? You know, like that. Yeah. And it's, it's so much about the path of, understanding that you are worth it um, and being able to stand in your power and just getting to that point where you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm done. 
Um, first, I would suggest anybody that is considering reaching out, when you find yourself in that moment where you're looking around and you're like, how is this my life? Take action because it's so easy to fall back into those ways. You're going to get love bombed. You're going to get sucked in. Like maybe this person's changed. Maybe this time it'll be different. It won't be different. So once you have that aha moment within yourself, take action. Um, I am always on Facebook, just my personal profile. I don't have a business page or anything like that because nobody uses that anymore. <laughs> um, but I, I share my stories, my vulnerability and things like that on Facebook um, to help develop those relationships if anybody's interested in learning more about me and my story. Uh, but I can also be reached on my website, which is www.intuitiveintrospection.com. Um, being an intuitive empath and being able to really connect and relate to people and, you know, see what they mean, even though it's not always the words that they can say, it's truly a gift that I've been able to put out into this world and really kind of break, break everything down, see things for what they are and help my clients rebuild them back into where they should be, where, you know, where it was intended to be before all this conditioning and, and allow the power and ability to realize who they are and understand that they have an opportunity to write their own story. They're not a puppet anymore, right? They, they are the ringmaster. Yeah, absolutely. That's really important. Like everybody deserves to uh, speak their own voice and they should have the confidence to do that. You know, I think that has a lot to do with it. It's like, um, honestly, I mean, I wasn't born confident, you know, uh, I was born like told I was this, that, the other, negative, this, negative, that, horrible, terrible, never amount to anything, blah, blah, blah. And that's all I ever heard growing up. And I'm like, mm, you know, just because you think that doesn't mean that I have to believe it. Right. You know? And then as I grew older, I was like, well, nobody's going to teach me about confidence. So I better learn it. And then I was like, what is confidence? And then I researched it and then I was like, you know what, I could totally like figure this out. And then it was like a moment of like choosing. Right. And so exactly. I chose, you know what, I'm going to be confident. Like I like myself. I'm cool. I'm awesome. And if uh, they don't think so, that's their problem. It's not their life. It's my life. I'm yeah. cool. I'm awesome. I'm, you know, this, that, the other. Um, and then there's again, a fine line between like arrogance and, humility and like uh, are, you don't want to puff yourself up too much to be like oh well I'm just like this amazing right. like whatever um but then you don't want to be like oh well I'm so horrible I'm so terrible either right so it's like balance is really important yeah absolutely um but yeah I, confidence for me is definitely was a choice I had to choose to uh, become confident whatever that meant and then yeah. it, it has evolved within the years and it has um really really um stepped into place you know um the same with happiness like happiness sure circumstances can dictate a person's happiness in the moment but like long-term happiness it's more about like mindset what you believe how you see happiness how you define happiness how you whether you choose happiness or you choose sadness some people choose to be like mopey sometimes and that's okay you know yeah. um nothing is permanent you yes. know and there's always room for improvement so yeah and it that? is it is definitely a journey you know it's a matter of realizing one that you're worth it two that it's possible and three that there's other people out there that share that story with you because when you go through such you know toxicity and abuse you tend to, I mean you've already cut out your friends you've cut out your family because you just want to keep this one person happy and you have no idea how that happened but it happened and to be able to step out and realize you're not alone there are other people out there that you can immediately click with through your story and there's power in that too um, but also that there is support out there it is possible but yes it all definitely starts with the decision giving yourself grace forgiving yourself there's nothing wrong with you just because you allowed yourself to be put in the situation you did because you were an amazing person there's no shame in that it's a matter of building that resilience so one if you ever encounter situations like like that again um, that you can immediately recognize and identify it and pull yourself out 
but also uh, knowing, like even getting a step further and completely avoiding situations like that, like getting so good at standing in your power and understanding what is right and what is wrong. And hey, it's okay for me to say no. It's okay for me to cut this person out of my life. It's okay for me to have opinions and feelings of my own. It's okay for me to take action without asking for permission or waiting for that punishment. Uh, it all does does start with that. And just, you know, like I said, I, I preach that the second you have that light bulb moment of this, what is happening right now, just take action. There's, <laughs> and, and it sounds like you did that too. You're like, wait a minute, this isn't right. Like your opinion means nothing to me. <laughs> you know, your, your story about me is not my story about me. So it takes a minute to get there, but definitely it, it starts with, Hey, you know what, this, this can't be how my life is supposed to be. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love it. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Tiffany, for the work that you're doing, the help that you're bringing to all of these uh, people, you know, I mean, there's just so much out there. I see it every day. I'm like reading about like you know, this, that, the other, he, she, you know, it's like, uh, and, you know, I, I will end this by saying, um, <laughs> as an abused person, a child, as an abused child, <laughs> I became an abuser, you know, um, and it's taken time and healing to realize that I don't have to be either or I can yeah. just be and yeah. instead just uh, exist and collaborate with my fellow man and woman and so you know you don't have to just because you say no just because you say not right now or um absolutely not or I'm not interested or get away or whatever you have to say to you know, protect yourself it's because you say that doesn't make you mean and doesn't make you an abuser either you know um abuse is more like deliberate on purpose right, right? right. like they really want to hurt the real emotionally or or psychology psych psychology wise uh you know what i mean yeah. uh, psychologically um they really want to hurt and so obviously you want to stay away from those type of people and you don't want to become those type of people because anybody can become anything right um there are those personalities where they're a little bit more like type a and type b they call it you know like type a is more like you know on point you know a to b and type b is a little bit more like i guess nonchalant whatever but either of those can become abused or abusing so right. be careful the words that you tell yourself and also um how people are treating you and how to move forward from that absolutely so i have any any other last words tiffany again i'm just going to reiterate when you have that aha moment take action you do have permission that you give yourself, that's where it starts to take all of that energy and effort that you're putting out in towards someone else that doesn't recognize or appreciate you for who you are, turn it back inside. And the better you treat yourself, the better the people around you are going to treat you because you're really showing them exactly what it is that you deserve and what you expect from who you associate with and, and situations. There's so much power in finding your power uh, no more overthinking no more people pleasing. And once you just find your flow and find that comfortability in who you are, then life just happens for you. It's scary. I get it. I get it. I, I have lost residences and income and so many things as a result of where I was, but taking the risk to say yes to yourself and no to somebody else it's, it's going to pay off in the end, jump in the deep end and realize that, you know, me and there's other people out there that can offer and provide support and help make sure you don't drown. And we'll hold your hand and we'll walk you down that path to your most authentic self, where you can truly, truly live life on your own terms. Yes. And that's really, truly very important to live your life on your own terms. Not anybody else's, the moms, not, you know, husband's, yeah. Why kids? No yeah. way. No I call way. it unapologetic authenticity. 
exactly. this is who I am. I'm comfortable with that. I know I'm not hurting anybody by being who I am. I don't have to apologize for being the, the human that I'm becoming. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Tiffany, for being here. Thank you, everyone else, for listening and watching the Pink Cloud Nine video podcast. Uh, please be sure to, uh, yes, be kind to seniors, children, pets, fellow man. Um, but don't let yourself get, uh, you know, abused either in the process. So just be careful. Watch out. Keep it, you know, keep it authentic. Keep it real. Keep it like light and um you know get a hold of tiffany if you want to chat about more of what we spoke about today or you know whatever else that you have any issues with uh but be kind um that really is a, the bottom line right because yeah. like which is interesting because like most of the time i just say be kind but we were speaking about like another topic but this time we're like really be kind like Especially to yourself <laughs> uh, be, be kind but don't be fake uh that's never good um uh, and um you know like me like if you have issues problems within yourself just resolve them and heal and uh, be better do better thank you so much everyone for being here bye love you